Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Let's go get killed by Eduardo. <laughs> Let's go sleep first. Bathe and sleep. <laughs> yeah. The rooms are 30 silver apiece. Ha! Um, for e each night, and if you want breakfast with it, they are 70 silver. How much are rooms with two beds? Rooms with two beds are 50 silver, and with um, breakfast, one gold. Gosh, math. <sighs> Is that breakfast for two people? Yes. I pay for one gold for the two ladies. Because easy am I. <laughs> no, I, I don't need breakfast. I don't either. We'll just do Hilder and I will just do the uh, the room no breakfast. Was it? You said fifty. 50. Yep. Fifty. Chop it up, Hilder. Yep. That's, That's, That's half a gold. Wait, that's that's a gold. No, that's five gold. Because one gold is ten silver, isn't it? Wait, yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold on. <laughs> Just take the deal for one gold. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No matter what. Okay, so. Here we go. You're. No, I'm absolutely right. No, you're absolutely right. That's true. So, a single room with nothing is three silver. Yes? This is a cheap place. Nice. A single room with breakfast is seven silver. Yes? Yeah. A double room with nothing is five silver. A double room with breakfast is one gold. There you go. <sighs> <laughs> is it 10 coppers to a silver or 100 coppers to a silver? Uh, 10 coppers to a silver. Because it's a, it, a 10 blank increment, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, just subtract 2 silver and 5 copper from your total gold amount, and we've got it. And I guess I'll help you take off your tiny dwarven armor. <laughs> it's not tiny, it's a medium creature. <laughs> Details. Details. Yeah. And I will ask um, Roy for to minor create a small like um, potion bottle. You know it's gonna disappear in about five minutes, right? Oh. I yeah, it's it's okay. not gonna be So it's not, not right. gonna be that's that good helpful. to know but minor create. Yeah. Uh, that would be amazing. amazing. You just like put the tooth or whatever in it and then just like after five minutes it's just everywhere again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Naga takes a single room with breakfast. And a dog. <laughs> and, uh... Breakfast and a dog, please. <laughs> Everyone is scared of the dog, because your dog is not very nice ugly. around. That's and no ugly. problem. It's like growling and like snarling and like, stay away, stay away. It's not used to crowded places. Yeah. Um, before I go to bed, can I take those poison teeth and apply the poison from them to the daggers like one tooth per dagger do you have ever done have poisons not. no <laughs> he's good at getting them all over him so <laughs> yeah <laughs> That should help him get him get him all over other things too, right? Well, could that be considered like streetwise? <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Um, if anything, I would guess it's either like nature because it's a poison or like dungeoneering, maybe? No, dungeoneering, it's not. Dungeoneering, it's not. So Stealth check. Um, <sighs> the next closest I can think of would be like nature. I only thought dungeoneering because I was thinking like, I don't know, poison dungeon things, but it doesn't really make sense now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I would say nature. nature. Yeah, either, either nature. Or arcane, arcana, because that's basically your intelligence. Your knowledge of things. Dakota asks maybe dexterity. Oh no, yeah. dexterity is if you don't know it. Um, like if you, I, I was thinking like first to check whether to see if you know how to apply them, and if then if you start applying them without knowledge. There is someone very close to you that has a decent arcana skill. Can't make a bottle, but maybe I can help you out. I will grab. I will take the teeth out and put them on the table. I will take five points of freaking poison damage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I will roll the save. I don't want you to get poisoned. I'll take the teeth. You notice that one of the teeth has lost all its poison. Okay. So you now have three left. Hey, I gotta run. Uh, I I would I would say, let's make this ruling. I would say either a nature or a kana if you uh, like take the highest. Uh, either of either the nature or arcana and if you fail you gotta make a dex check to see if everything still goes on. Did you put them on the table so I would do it? Yeah. Is that what's happening? Okay. It's nice to like convey to my character that you want me to what you want me to do with them. Do the stuff you <laughs> Could you please apply this poison to these daggers? Oh, yeah, I can try. Do you want me to make three separate rolls? Two. Or would you like me to two? two? Either nature or arcana, whichever your choice. Um, and if that fails, you need to roll dex check. Well, I just mean, am I doing one roll for all three daggers? Yes. Or am I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Once that's, for all that's what I was asking. Yeah. Because if you know how to apply it, you just know how to apply it. First staggered, that seems to go well. Well, then you just know how to apply it. Then that's fine. Oh, I don't need to roll anymore. I assume this was your arcana check. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so you just know how to apply it and you just apply it. It will take you five minutes to uh, apply it properly. Just okay. a short rest time, basically. And that's for all three? Yep. Done. You now have poison daggers. Three poison daggers. You now have two poison daggers, and I have one poison dagger. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That can be used once, so make sure to note that in your. Uh... Yeah. And I hand you the four regular daggers that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, on the first attack, it does five ongoing poison. Say that. Got it. And then we sleep. Unless anyone else needs to do anything? Not today. Not Except to for... Oh, I don't, I don't really have to clean myself. I didn't get dirty. I only stabbed the oh, ground. Yeah. I'll, dusty. I'll, I'll, I'll take a bath. <laughs> Smart <Poison> man. <laughs> and poison and 
dog blood everywhere. They, uh... My own blood. They ask you to pay five silver. For the bath? They look up and down to you and they say... Yeah. Be lucky it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'll pay five silver. <laughs> Just in case something Take goes the wrong with the bath. back and spray him down with the hose. <laughs> There are no hoses in this world. And I, I will also wipe down my armor. It's probably dirty too. Yeah. Perfect. I think that was it for today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you go to sleep and then the next day will be played out next time. We still have time. Yeah, we still got, I got like 20 minutes. Oh, can... I thought you said you had to go. That's why I... No, no, no. Just oh. like 15 minutes early was is fine. We can, we got like 20, 25 minutes. All right. We all get up. You get up. You have made an extended rest. Everything's oh, reset. That, that's so good. All that blah, blah, blah stuff. I healed two hit points. Yay. <laughs> oh. I assume we meet like somewhere and sit and talk about stuff before we do stuff. Yeah, we need a f approach. Game I would, plan. I would call it a plan. We don't have enough info for that, but we need an approach. <laughs> so, yes. we can seduce Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he'd be into that kind of thing. That name worked. <laughs> I have I have heard of these five adventurers, these five beautiful adventurers. <laughs> and their ugly ugly dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is endearing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Right. It's like, uh, you know, like pugs are so ugly that they're just adorable. It can be like the same. Thing. I think they're just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Pugs are pretty cute. Anyways. Anyways. Back to Eduardo. We know nothing except where he'll be. Um, which is that he is a trader and a harbor master. Both. And he likes making deals, apparently. High profile, risk taker, with lots of money. Not and yet, maybe. Knows, we'll see. He knows who we are. <sighs> um, based on his price point, kind of a dick. What else do we know? Well, we know that Amelia once uh, says that if we do some errands for him, he may reduce the money she owes. And in the meantime, she wants to stay in her bakery, which was essentially torn down by them. There's also that. She's scared of him. She gets a note that she has to meet him and she refuses to go. And prefers to stay in a place where everybody knows she would be. Well, that there's no use for them of her being dead. She can't pay them money if she's dead. Then why did we save her in the first place? If I don't know. We didn't ask questions. We just barged in. Just saying. <laughs> true, true. They didn't like that, so they attacked. Hmm. Well, she did I mean, get herself in a very hopeless situation, but yeah. the order of the Blue Star asked us to help her out. And really, if we don't like what Eduardo has to say, we can just kind of leave, right? <laughs> and we would probably anger the Blue Star Order, which is a big order. But other than that, yeah. We've, we've done worse things. <laughs> but they don't yeah. know Allegedly. that. 
You are assuming that you are assuming that the nightshade doesn't hold a grudge. There's that too. I think we're in it too deep at the moment. Yeah, I mean, we did kill their dog. John Wick uh, did a lot more for the, about the same thing. Anyways, no point sitting around here. So finish breakfast and, and head that way. I don't see another open option for us and it's not like we have enough information to make an actual plan until we get there. Traveling in the city will take a lot of time or be expensive. It would take us half a day to get to the harbor. Well, that's not so bad. No, considering where we are and how long everything yeah. takes, that's pretty decent. <laughs> and we want to have to take a carriage, right? DM, please clarify. To the place where we're supposed to meet him, it's going to take us a long, long time, right? Yes. Not half a day. To the city walls up north, it will take you half a day. But the place we're supposed to be going takes us like days. It's to the west, yes. Days. And you've traveled at least two days to the east now. Balls. Oh, I did it... didn't get the city that. sucks. Yeah. This city is big. Can we burn it down? <laughs> you need a lot of fire for that. <laughs> well, if the houses are close enough together. <laughs> <laughs> the like, district with all the fire watches is probably far enough away. I would work. Why you'd have to start a fire in the middle of this gigantic city and then try to outrun it for days to get out. <laughs> <laughs> to get away. <laughs> well, we can make a portal. <laughs> yes, we can make a portal. That's true. <sighs> there is that. We have an let's, escape let's button. <laughs> hey, if the bakery burns down, Amelia won't have any reason to stay here. Right? Especially if she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think the blue star will care if we bring back like some ashes. Like here yes, she is. Yes, I think She's they fine. would care. Actually, <laughs> we found yes. her like this. You, you if, could just if you want to go with that particular like evil plan, you'd have to we'd have to burn the bakery and frame the the nightshade and then get the hell out of here before they get onto that and bring Amelia back to the blue star people. Yeah. I could just had a nice and point, then carry but... the grudge of the nightshade for the rest of our lives, most likely. But you know, they're already assholes, so we killed some of their men. They won't like us anyway. <laughs> Spawn! <laughs> the strange has arrived! <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, hey, my height <coughs> thing actually worked. What? Uh, I just now saw that the um, the plunder actually it actually worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make the plunder game even slower for a game of nothing there. Got swap DM. Get swaps. Why are you looking at me like that, Jenny? <laughs> we're not talking about Jenny. I think Jenny knows that we're going to burn the town down. No, we're not going to burn the town down. That was like a group decision, 100%. Burning the town. <laughs> it's not a town. We're heart. all going to die. The city. <laughs> I don't think I can run for days in heavy armor to get away from the fire. <laughs> We can start the fire near an Oh, exit, this right? this city is so screwed if ever a fire erupts. It'd be like Chicago. just like all go to different parts of the town and start the fire. <laughs> okay, Anyways, we'll both join you in that. Um, let's go to where we're going. <laughs>
the location. On the road again. Are, you, are, you, are we going to the meeting spot or are we going to the wharf? The dock? Go to they the, are the same. What about, since it's going to take us okay. like a couple days to get there, we should go near it, probably rest, and then go. Naturally. Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> and who knows what we encounter along the way. <laughs> We're talking days here in a busy city. <laughs> we can speed up the journey if we travel again by car. True. Mm. Ask people while we walk if they're going towards the wharf and hop on their cards. Either way, it's likely that the nightshade will shadow us anyways. I assume that's what they'll be doing in honor of their name. But yeah. We're not making a lot of friends at the moment. You made a new friend. <laughs> no one. Against an entire order of shady figures and overpowerful psionics. Hey, we, oh, we have a... Spot. We have a poison thing dog. <laughs> I'm not gonna use my dog. <laughs> Spawn of all Spawn of all is in my chat. He's got the plan. He's got it going. <laughs> yeah, you can trust him to come up with a good plan. <laughs> His streams are so funny. I should, I should throw him a follow. He's really a amusing guy. <laughs> cool guy. There you go. All right, well, let's head out. What? Spawn? Were you being creative? I didn't see. That's new. The irony. No. That's not what I'm saying. Where are we going? You, you marching? Yeah. Marching yeah. you away? Not you're not taking the cart system that is... We're gonna if we keep taking the cart system, I'm gonna run out of money before we even get out of this damn city. <laughs> we can at least that. ask for the prices. Well, the, we don't have to be at war before Aelus said he did. He said just come meet me. You know, we can take our time. Taking times means more money on food. Can we, can we fast travel? <laughs> no, we can't. Your characters can't now. The, this portal does goes to a location outside of the city, a specific one. Unfortunately, doesn't work to take us where we want to go, <laughs> which is a bummer. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's going to be cheaper if we travel by car, given that it's a lot faster and easier. But also, you can't lose your way. But up to you guys. I follow the party. Me too. If everybody follows, then they're not gonna get very far. No, that's too. Is, uh, is there anyone who has a preference? What? Couldn't I don't care. Roy make like minor create a compass every now and then to point us in the right direction? <laughs> I mean. There is like a huge compass in the sky called the sun. I assume that it follows like, you know, normal world. Yep. Rules where it rises and sets. And yep. Like yes, yes. Fixed. The, o the only thing that is weird about this world is that there are two moons in the sky at night. <gasps> I did not know. But is that weird? That's not weird for our characters. Is it? Nope. <laughs> We've never seen any other modes. Nope. It's all the moons. Can but you the, the sun works just like in this world, yes. It's all fine. All normal. All normal. All normal for your characters. Mm -mm. Well, I guess we walk probably to the city wall, sort of northwest-ish, and then just follow the city wall because that's sort of easy. Indeed. Yeah. So you're walking? Yes. You walk through the sea. Streets. The seats. You walk through the streets. 
of a somewhat busy city. It's um, it's not like very crammed busy, um, but it, neither is it very like quiet. Um, you do notice though that the further you go. Uh, the further you look into the city, because sometimes you have these streets that are like wide open and you can like see into the city as you're kind of walking uh, near the walls. Um, you notice that inside the city it's more busy than um, uh, the sort of roads that go near or actually uh, next to the walls. Um, and um, also what you notice... Um, during your four days of travel is um, the colors change from like a red lion on a white uh, background to uh, like a yellow star on a black background and like the house is probably like yellow black uh, color schemes um, on the window shutters and all that stuff um, do we stay in inns overnight? If you do we pay for that, food? The uh, the prices are the same. I have my own food. That I really should eat. Yeah, we got food. Do we stay can, in inns? Can or do you we like, sleep in the street? We can hunt people during the day for food. <laughs> Let me roll a nation check. <laughs> you found three children. <laughs> Your party eats well for a week. No. Oh. oh man. I assume you actually do not do this. I am fine with oh, evil, but there well. are limits. <laughs> we might, we might at least scare off the nightshade. Like these people are fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> or they might go. These people are crazy. <laughs> you don't know. Well, do we stay at inns or not? We probably yeah, do. Sure. Not. It's better than getting like attacked unawares on the street. So, if you don't want food, it's three silver for single bedrooms and. Five silver for double bedrooms, yeah. Five silver for doubles for four nights is two gold for the two ladies. I subtract that. Just to move on with this. Yeah, let's keep it keep it rolling. What's the grand total before we get to the... How many for nights? You, for you two guys, it would be uh, two golds in total. Two golds, easy. Minus one gold. And I have food, so minus two foods. Done. Foods. <laughs> I would like to roll perception, and if I have to multiple times, to spot being shadowed or followed or otherwise. Similar <laughs> things. <laughs> Thank uh, you for the host spot. The last bit of the DVD You have session. to roll a perception for each day you want to do this. 16. 16. I don't have anything else to do. 26. 22. On the last two days as you near the harbor area, you notice a marked increase in people not really shadowing you, but you do notice that they keep watch. It's not like, you know, they have these people that you always see around the corner, the same people, not that kind of shadowing. But you do notice that, like, there's one guy in that street that kind of takes more interest in you than a normal passerby would. And then a few street blocks later, there's, like, a different person who does the same. And then a few street blocks yeah. later, there's, like... So you notice a kind of coordinated Indeed. watching instead of real shadowing. Just, They're not just... following you or anything. They're just watching where you're going. They're just looking at my butt. <laughs> no big deal. And <laughs> um, the on the 
third day, because your perception check was really that high, yeah. you also notice that the uh, person uh, watching you um, actually, as you walk walk away, like you walk off, and you like you know you look back at at that person, and the person thinks you're no longer looking at him. So what he does, he like does this, and <laughs> and he, he you see him actually like talking. Well, that looks familiar. And then he, like, walks off. I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> can he can he do this instead? It's way cooler. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brain phone. But that's uh, that's what Johanny knows. I inform you guys on uh, probably the third day when I noticed the most that uh, I believe we are being uh, observed and I inform you in quiet in the inn probably or something like that. I start they know we're coming a little bit more when I walk <laughs> <sighs> that's all <laughs> we arrive at the dock surprise. at the dock it's a huge, huge harbor because, like, the entire waterfront is like one big harbor that stretches on for miles with like cranes and um, ships. And, um, and with cranes, I mean like the you know, the medieval version of it with the wooden uh, cranes, obviously. Um, and ships and people are loading crates in one ship and unloading crates in another ship. Um, they are like uh, fisher fishermen, like sitting alongside a uh, a bit of coast that actually has no dock activity in between the, um, the docks. And um, yeah, there's like you know dock activity. There are people walking, talking. Um, there are a lot of people. Um, there are a lot of people like um, walking with like what you see the most. It's like you have two people who have like these this very elegant clothing with like set in with jewelry and stuff like that that are talking to each other. And then um, there are other people that are less more in common clothing walking behind them with like these. Uh, scrolls and with like these scriptures and they're like um, you know following them around and really listening to what they're saying and uh, fit, like uh, those noble people those nobly clothed people like turning to each other and like having this like paper and like signing it and putting their stamp on it and there's like a whole thing going on of, of busyness goods information being exchanged um, even the, uh, as the perception of a few of you is actually pretty good, the passive. Oh, I don't have the character sheet open, but I think Johanny has a really good passive and someone else of the party, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, you two, you see, like, in these shady corners, you know, that all these high, tall buildings create that are, like, warehouses and everything. And in these shady, shady corners, you see, like, people, like, hugging together. And like also doing some sort of business, but it's definitely a different kind of business, if you know what I mean. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of activity going on. Um, a lot of different races as well, walking around. Humans, dwarves, elves, uh, you name it, it's walking there. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. It's busy. How many minotaurs do I count? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just a quick head count of where you're standing right now. Would horn you think... count's fine too. What? A horn count. A is horn fine count. Too. Just a quick horn count of where you're standing right now would count you about like five minotaurs, perhaps. A lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> We're doomed. Not minotaurs again. <laughs> and this is ironic. My character started with being tripped by a minotaur, and now we're back at the minotaurs again. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that, that's just what you see. Like, lots of busyness. I watch my pockets. Me too. Do I see... What is his name? 
Eduardo or Fernando? <laughs> Eduardo. Eduardo. You don't see someone with a naming plate called Eduardo, no. Well, we were told we'd not when we see him, so. So he does have a sign. <laughs> <laughs> or is that true or something? You will see a very, a character that kind of sticks out. Um, would you want to roll perception for that? I would, but Anna sucks at that. <laughs> and Anna does not. I'm are gonna try. To, you never are we know. Are supposed to meet him at a specific building or something? Just saying. We could go to the actual place. <laughs> <laughs> it's all one big blur for your character. <laughs> it's always the same thing when I roll for Anna's perception. Um, I can't <laughs> I think with the passives of, of, of uh, Roy and Johanny already, you notice a distinct lack of Dragonborn, if your character is at all familiar with this race. I think we've encountered a few of them in the past. Yeah, Tylonia had definitely had a few walking around. I mean, the big cities usually have them walking around. Like, dragon, Dragonborn in this world aren't really any specific particular, like, rare race or something. You know, they're just you know, amongst the normal races. Um, so it's pretty uh, pretty striking that during your four-day walk through the city, you've seen the Dragonborn here or there, it's not that uncommon. Um, but um, as you are now on the docks, you notice that on the dock area, as you look around, there's actually not a single Dragonborn inside. I guess Dragonborns don't like salt water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, time to wrap it up, though. Yeah, you have arrived on the docks. Whee! Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so I guess, I guess it's a better better wrap up as any because now the next session will be finding Eduardo on the dock. Yeah, I could call the episode the search for Eduardo. <laughs> Where's Eduardo? <laughs> Let's burn the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show him. <sighs> you don't mess with us. We burn your motherfucking place down, yeah. <laughs> well, we keep and shouting that, the... but we never do it. So <laughs> I think we've had enough craziness today. All the yeah. shenanigans were real today, that is true. I guess I named the episode appropriately without it, even it knowing it. It was crazy town indeed, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe in all that traveling the dog got used to us. Oh yeah, the dog is, um, I totally forgot to mention, but the dog, you know, if you take your time, you don't have to roll nature text or it, it gets used to uh, your company. It, it's still, um, uh, how do you say that? It's still wary of outsiders and stuff. But it feels comfortable around you guys in the group. Hey. We're a pack now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I made a friend. With that, we have to call it a day. Indeed. <laughs> Spawn has made the last bit of the stream very lively, I must say. <laughs> Go follow that guy, awesome streamer, awesome guy. And uh, yeah, we will be back next month. I think. Next month? Yeah. yeah. February somewhere. February. <laughs> February. Keep we an eye out on the Twitters of both me and Bookfish. Keep an eye out on the site, redsinthebasement.com. And... Uh, it will be announced as soon as possible. Indeed. I'll put it on my schedule too. And yeah, it's going to be totally fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the hosts and the follows and the support. And I'll s we will see you guys later. Later. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye. Bye.